Hi, I'm Anna Spires. I'm the design team lead for the Beetle Community Challenge. Ecological community dynamics are emergent from a combination of processes at the population, landscape, and ecosystem levels. Thus, tracking community dynamics through biodiversity monitoring is critical for detecting species decline, evaluating the sustainability of land use practices, and forecasting future impacts of global change on communities. Sentinel species give forewarning of environmental risk to humans, like the canary in a coal mine, who are particularly useful for such monitoring and forecasting efforts. Ground beetles, or carabids, are well-studied sentinel species. They are common and speciose, known to be bioindicators of environmental change. In E.O. Wilson's seminal paper, The Little Things That Run the World, he broadcasts the importance of invertebrate conservation, saying, if invertebrates were to disappear, I doubt that the human species could last more than a few months. Although carabids are a great study system for ecological communities, most community scale predictive models are limited in spatiotemporal extent or taxonomic resolution, which hinders their generalizability. In comes NEON, which meets both of these. It provides large scale, long term carabid monitoring at all 47 of its terrestrial sites. The Beetle community theme of the FE Forecasting Challenge is the only theme to harness the spatial extent of the US. NEON collects crabids and pitfall traps at each NEON site every two weeks throughout the sampling season. The sampling season differs across sites and years and is based on measures of growing season. Each site has 10 plots with three pitfall traps at each that are spread across land cover types. After collection, crabids are sorted and identified to the lowest possible taxonomic rank by technicians and then a subset of these are sent to an expert taxonomist for validation. Our target variables are abundance and species richness. Abundance is measured as the total number of individuals per track night to account for sampling effort, and species richness is the total number of species in a sampling bout. By species here, we mean the smallest taxonomic unit possible. For some individuals due to sampling error, this may be a genus, or a morpho species. Teams may use any data products as drivers so long as they are made publicly available. Since community dynamics are shaped by a combination of processes operating at many scales, identifying drivers is challenging. So we're excited to see how teams select drivers and what they discover. June 30th is the first submission opportunity for the Beetle community theme. Teams are invited to submit weekly forecasts for May 2021 through December 2022. Why such a long forecast horizon? We're curious to see how well a prior season's carabid phenology can predict the following season. Teams are encouraged to update their forecasts on the last day of each month through December 2021 as validation data are released. And this timeline is determined by the carabid data latency. Neon Crabid data is released in weekly bundles no sooner than 60 days after collection. Weekly forecasts were chosen to best match up with this release schedule. As an example, Crabid data released in the last week of June would include data as recent as the last week of April. Thus, a model submitted in June could include forecasts from May onwards. And then the forecast update submitted in July can use the new May data to help refine June forecasts. Developing forecasts and evaluating their accuracy and generalizability can help test our knowledge of carabid community dynamics. Such models can inform regional or local habitat management, identify where monitoring efforts should be prioritized, and shed light on what data or modeling techniques are needed to build the best forecasts of community dynamics. We don't know what modeling frameworks, mechanistic processes, or statistical approaches best capture community dynamics, but through this forecasting challenge, we will take a stride in that direction. We're excited to see teams' creativity show through what drivers they choose and how they design their models. NEON's biodiversity monitoring will help democratize 
community ecology and will allow us to tease apart drivers of community dynamics more through each iteration of this forecasting challenge. Thank you on behalf of the rest of the Beetle community design team, and we hope to see your submissions on June 30th.